Well, hello there. So, we're gonna play Wasteland 3. So, let's hop in. I'm gonna make random characters, if possible. That, that was my original plan. That I'm gonna make random characters. But... Once I've seen the pre-made characters, I was... I wasn't impressed by any means, but... Uh, I'm kinda curious. Can I get away with Supreme Jerk? For the hardest of the heart, soul killing nightmare of brutality, not even remotely fair. Based on playing Gears Tactics... I think I can get away with Supreme Jerk, but I would need to be a, a Supreme Tryhard to uh, make it work. So I think... We're just gonna go with Ranger, which might seem like the the, the pussy out, but I think it's gonna be the right choice. Because this is gonna give me a, a good balance for veteran strategy game players seeking a challenge, a cruel and unforgiving world. I think that's good enough. You know? It doesn't have to be super hard, but it doesn't, it really shouldn't be a face roll. So I'm gonna go with Ranger, and this is kind of one thing that I probably just, uh, do more of that I'm just not gonna go with the highest difficulty because uh, it could be bad <laughs> I don't know it seems like well the thing is sometimes the highest difficulty is just the intended difficulty but many times you just you just don't fucking know sometimes the highest difficulty is just like you know oh you think you're too cool for this game well fuck you now and like oh, okay well thank you okay now, when it comes to the characters, I have some ideas, and this is kind of, when I actually played uh, Wasteland 2, this is kind of what I regretted, that the characters just didn't have personalities. And, uh... My initial gut... Alright, let's just watch the, mo <clears throat> the movie. Oh when yeah. The world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. If I was there, I would need a hat. But then, the Cochise AI woke oh. up, and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. <clears throat> and if the rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Sounds bullshit. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. How does he have so much food and water? Um, water, okay, but food. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. This looks bad. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. What? So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Well, the always not going there. What the fuck? This guy needs to get fired. Priest probably not getting paid at all. Why not go one at a time? Jesus Christ! Just go one at a time. Go, guys. What the hell is this? Unbelievable. No need for the bombs. Oh my god, that's a lot of hostiles. Oh no. I missed my chance to high five him. No. Oh, so sad. Yeah. It's been a rough road lately. Seeing characters that I... But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets, or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. It's hard to keep fighting when you're dead. The Rangers never stop fighting. Yeah, but 
also not very smart, right? I've seen that maneuver. It was... It was really bad. I mean, I was totally expecting the ice to give in. Now. We have a choice of me. Holy shit, look at that. That's... Uh, well, is that kind of me? I mean, it kind of looks like me. A little bit. Looks like a default white guy. Uh, so... And I would have a love of Spence, which... It's a little unusual name, but, you know, Combat Medic? Hell, hell yeah. But I would be called Yuri? I don't know about that. I, I know which one I want to go with, not, not these guys. Father and Daughter. So, imagine, like, Lost of Us. Imagine, like, uh, Walking Dead. Imagine... That's all I got. <laughs> That's, that would be my inspiration, I suppose. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we're gonna select this pair. Uh, melee combat, sneaky shit. <laughs> I, I, I like this name. Animal Whisper, sure. Recluse, whatever. I, I don't care. Uh, we're not playing on the highest difficulty, which will allow me to be... to RP a bit more, because I feel like I need to try hard so hard uh, when I just play in the hardest difficulty, and ultimately I just don't have the most fun. So I'm gonna go with... Uh, yeah, Mentor and Student, Tech, tech Heads. And that's it. And I do like the preset because uh, creating custom characters, which will be required later, takes a long time. But I suppose uh, this way at least we get started earlier. And I kind of like this folder dynamic. I want to take advantage of that. <laughs> oh, the dad jokes. Select this pair. William and Lee Tsing. I mean, if you were if you were like an Asian guy called Lee, uh, William, I, I would assume... When you move to an area. English speaking area. But, but would you name your daughter Lead Sing? Maybe Lead Sing. Are they really. I, I think they are. Son and daughter for real. Oh no. The shooting is so loud. In comparison. To. Um, UI narration? Voice? No, no, no. I, I have no interest in playing multiplayer. Mass Effect's volume? Um, maybe just drop it a, a, a touch. And, uh... I don't wanna affect the voice volume. Usually in most games, uh, it's a pretty safe choice just to drop uh, most most things ex except the voice volume. Uh, yeah, I want to save and close. Hopefully, it's it's actually fine. <clears throat> so we got Mr. Stabby over here, who actually is pretty bad at stabbing. What the fuck? Okay. I, I did fire up the game just to see it works, and it works. Okay, disable tutorials. I think, maybe. No, no, no. Okay, fine. So we can go and try to stabby that guy. That would cost us seven action points. Okay. That that's That's all. We have a sniper rifle here. I suppose we're gonna go for the finishing blow. And uh da -da -da -da. Uh, we can just defend. Spending leftover AP. I'm tired of the disabled Dorios. No, he's dead! He was part of our team! Why, why did he join the Rangers? I feel like an irresponsible father. I can't help but become William here. Lead Sing? <sighs> we really fucked up. Maybe we have to leave the Rangers <coughs> or make some big changes. What? Hang in there, November. Almost got it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, sure. Oh, I can start stabbing this guy. He would not like it. I like the sound of that. Uh, okay. Ooh. So if he killed this Dorsey, oh. Um. Yeah, that's a good shot. 
So William moves in for some slices. Okay. Well, we are making some progress. And again, there's nothing to do here. Okay, defend. Oh no! She's down! What? Vehicle turret online. So we can use this turret to take him out. Final action. Oh, uh, what? No, no, no. I want to use the attack of the turret to take him all out in one hit. Apparently, it's going to do it. Hell yeah! <laughs> Lovely up. Okay. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. But what if you want to die? You know, I'm I'm just putting it out there. You know, I'm not not saying necessarily this is the the appropriate time for that discussion. But you know, what if we just want to die, or what if you just want to fucking bail? You know, I, you're just making this a binary choice right away. But you know. I can't help but see that I can just choose to fuck fuck right off. They could take that truck, maybe, or just just uh, just go uh, by foot if I have to, and just not give a shit, right? <laughs> we'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? That's a terrible plan. How did you become a mayor? This makes no sense. So we have three units here. One, two. Me, my daughter, Lee Sing, I am William, and Major Vera Frasad. And apparently we just have too many guys. We need to split up. Really? Okay. Yeah, we got it. Now's not the time for attitude, Rangers. Remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no quitting here. There's no going back. I don't care about Arizona. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just swimming. I could use a vacation. <laughs> All right, move out. You seem to be under the impression that you're in charge, but you're also only in charge if I can accept it. But, you know, for the time being, it's probably best that we work together. The rocket gun. Alright, let's go. Uh, loot all. Moldy sock. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's good. Scrap. Uh-huh. The fuck? Tax evasion for morons? Hell yeah. Um. I guess we're gonna need financial advice. What do we have here? William's med medallion gives one penetration. I guess that's armor piercing. And mom's photo that increases detection time. <laughs> well, good thing it's not uh, switched up. <laughs> I don't know. It would it would be a little weird if uh, mom's photo uh, gave extra penetration. <sighs> Let's see what we have here. No! Oh, look at that. One guy. Can we just shoot him? Okay. Uh. Okay. I have to say, I'm, I'm not loving the controls. Uh, they're kind of bad at least well i think it's gonna be suitable uh for a game like this but it's still 
A little like, ugh, barely. Press over trail and then overlook. All right. So William has uh, has the knife and Lee Sing has the uh, sniper rifle. Yeah, that's fair enough. Girl, you gotta stay safe. I uh, just stay behind me. Actually, S actually stay behind him. Oh no, we got a problem here. I don't know that woman. Wait, we're just, we're just gonna stand in front. That's terrible. We would give up all leverage. Kiss ass. Wait, nobody has to die. Just leave and we don't, won't shoot. <laughs> we won't shoot. All right, fine. I'm going. Shoot her in the back. Oh, come on. I'm telling my cousin to be. Lee Sing, go! Take the shot! Oh my god! My you fucking idiot! Life. I mean... Maybe next time. Save my life? Uh, yeah, I guess we did. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her. Friends. Friends. Okay, whatever. She didn't think of that. No, no. You're trying to keep you alive. And I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Why are you talking so slowly? Oh crap. Any other survivors from your squad? Not likely. Most of them burned with our transport. A couple more went under the ice and That's okay. They're swimming. Wait. Major Tom. He might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell after we wrecked. Don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but take these. Might get his attention. Smokes? Who's Major Tom? Brazil is our mayor, Major. <laughs> Major's just his Ugh. name. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Can, can my nickname be G General? <laughs> Let's get moving. We come back for you. No, come, come with us. What are you doing? What are you? Like, what is the big plan here, Jody? Seriously, you're just gonna stay here and get killed? Gotta catch my wind. Ah. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Thanks. Be. Careful. Well, Jerry is sold out. The dying woman. Much for saying goodbyes, Jody Bell. So we're gonna slip this in your pack before you leave in the morning. We just want you to know how proud we are of you, and that we'll be praying hard for your safe return. And don't you worry about us, none. We'll get by. We always do. Is it possible to make the radio louder? I kind of want the radio to be louder. Wake up, cousins! More Hotlanders coming! Bye! Ruining our fun! Guess we better finish off the rest of them. No! Don't let them get the drop on us! Not those guys! Wow! Oh fuck, we might be in trouble. Do, do we have a good good duel here? Uh-oh. Okay. That seems like a good shot. No! That was not the way to start a fight. This, these are pretty basic tutorials. Okay. Now, leasing cannot even shoot. Seems okay. Ok, 
Yeah, let's get go over here and pop a defense. You pop a defense too. What the fuck? I fucking knew it. We're gonna be very conservative with the uh, difficulty level when we go with preset characters. Okay. The chance to hit is low. Okay, continue. We will need to run away. Well, we definitely need to go for a uh, kill. Can you run toward William? And can he defend you? What if you... Oh my god. What if you popped a mad hypo? This is bad. Starting the fight with a miss was terrible. Hey, John! So you'd finally catch you streaming? Yeah, just, just Wasteland. Uh, trying it for the first time, but we might get whooped. I decided to start with preset characters, and uh, these are not the best. Okay, let's just take a shot. Okay, we have uh, not much to do, actually. I just defend. <sighs> What's up, John? Anything good? Oh, down rangers. I know, I know. We might, we might even need to reload. Because the, the start was so bad. Can I... Oh, I, I can't revive her. Okay, fine. That's good. Let's go for a heal. Wow. That was lucky. Well, okay then. Rough start uh, with this duel. Shell shock. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to reload that much. It's the Grand Open Finals. Like, what? Right now? We're, we're when? I, I know very little about Grant these days. What's going on right now, or... What are you talking about? I need more info. Oh, target's blocked. Hmm. Apparently, I can make a shot from over here. Is that the case? No, dark. Oh, can we just do uh, an ambush? Precision strike? Yeah, let's do a uh, ambush. Let's do a uh, defend as well. Wow. I guess we can uh, move up and do a defense. Should I move up with William? Second semi-final being played right now. Okay. 50% chance. Uh, a body's good enough.
I had to leave the stream because uh, Jaguar's commentary was giving me cancer. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, to be fair, now that you mentioned that, I, I suppose it would be somewhat interesting uh, to watch it, but I don't know. It just takes too long. It just takes forever <laughs> to uh, to watch the Gwen tournaments. I didn't actually enjoy the tournaments, so I'm not even saying that it, it's not a good experience, because I, I think it was good experience in the past, but... Oh no! We ran into the fire? What the fuck? Seriously? Okay. Uh Can we do heals? Mad hypo. We can just give him the mad hypo. Uh what is this? Oh yeah, we we cannot use the med pack. Okay, okay. Nico pops. Oh, okay. Tailbot already made it to the final. That guy is very consistent, that's for sure. Uh, upgrading your gear, okay, fine. It's much quicker now? Is it? How so? No more all-day streams? So they go for like shorter streams or what? Okay, I know about enemy detection. Because those, those streams were just crazy. I, I, I don't know. I mean, ultimately like... It was, I suppose, it was good for viewership because over time the the viewer count just went up and up and up and up and up. But like, come on, who has time to watch ten hours of Gwent? Or like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it, it was on the it was on the weekend, but still. Let's just disable the defenses. Oh, we cannot repair anything. Oh, corpse. Let me loot the corpse. Run away! Okay, there's nothing there. Um, actually, we have lock picking, so I suppose that's nice. Games are quicker, and the the pace spread it out, and they spread it out. Okay. How much quicker? That that's that's a good question. Because the average game yesterday was quarterfinals. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because they used to do like the whole uh maybe maybe sometimes 16 in one, but uh at least 8 in one. Like, oh my god, that's, that's so much. Okay, let's uh fire it up. How much quicker, though? Oh, we cannot disable it, but can I... Can I shoot at him? What? Dorsey Gut Ripper. That's a uh, level 2 melee. Okay, that's an upgrade. Upgrading your gear. Sure. I mean, technically, we are... I guess it's an upgrade. <sighs> I can also throw in a, a grenade. I haven't played the last patch uh, that... Uh, 
The, I was kind of the Siri Nova patch. I was mostly playing uh, Legends of Runeterra uh, a little bit on, on my own. I, I did uh, plan on streaming it. If if I wasn't playing, if I wasn't streaming uh, Wasteland Free, I would be either streaming some some other new game that I I have some adventure game or Legends of Runeterra. I kind of like the deck building a bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm just burnt out of Gwent. That's not too surprising for me. Under 15 minutes a game? Always? How did they make this change? Or... Oh, damn it. Looks like we killed them all. Animations are faster. Oh, that, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. Howdy, Hotlander to you. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance. I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close. Is that a good spot soul. now? You know what I mean? <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him so Every class is viable? <laughs> Maybe I'll look into it. The state of your knife is a disgrace. When is the last time you cleaned and sharpened it? Oh... I'll sharpen my knife on your bones, and I'll wash it clean in your blood. For the deluge is coming, you heathen, and I'm its harbinger. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. You made pro? You became pro? Wow. Oh no, he's dead! <laughs> Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Shoot. Okay, we do have action points. This is not exactly my ideal duo, but that, maybe that's why they are more appealing. The father and daughter duo. Dorsey Stalker. Okay, well, we're gonna take the shot. Not enough AP. What about William? That's not good enough. He needs to be faster. Can he just go here and... I don't know what the fuck he do. <laughs> we need to blow up the oil tanks. Oh my god, we're in trouble. I don't want to hide next to an oil tank, that's for sure. Okay, we are out of range. Doors the ambusher is a melee guy. Oh, we can throw a frag grenade. Should we frag grenade? One hell of a frag grenade. Hmm. That might actually blow up my character, so maybe not. Your first time this year, anyway. Hmm. I was a little interested in the Siri Nova patch or the Siri patch, but I wasn't interested enough uh, to return. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> I was actually reading uh, quite a uh, quite a lot of books. Basically, I just didn't watch any shows. I didn't really spend time on Reddit. Out of ammo, I just read books. <sighs> How boring is that, right? Oh my god! We need to get this guy. Does he have a gun? Yeah, he definitely has a gun. Lots of uh, tutor cards make it more reliable, and many games go all three rounds, pushing round 
2 is quite common. Really? Alright. Oh yeah, they added the... Uh, well... <laughs> I probably shouldn't say anything because I, I, I don't know. But uh, they added uh, a few more cards that just, just stay, stay on the board. Or maybe series like that. Uh, yeah, series like that. I don't know. Was there a patch after the Siri patch? Because if so, I don't know. <laughs> that looks super dodgy. Leeting also needs to run away and heal up. Oh, out of ammo. So, four ammo. <laughs> this is not a good start. Wait a second. Why can't I reload my weapon? Oh, it's four right now? I suppose at least we're not gonna be that. Okay. If I probably have to do, uh... I have to probably gotta get, uh, better supporting characters here, because we're in trouble. Oh my god. Okay. Reading is awesome. Oh crap. No, we got a guy. Came in. That's excellent. Ah, out of ammo. Yeah, we can't attack this turn. Maybe we can uh, prepare. No, that's not gonna help. We can just defend. Thundering Strike. I think we may need to use a grenade here. This is just too difficult. Is he melee? Seems to be melee. Can I be ambushed with a melee weapon? It seems a little weird. Range 2 to 3, so that might help. Okay, let's ambush with a melee weapon. Just balancing, not so much resilience, but pushing round 2 to bleed out gold cards is a thing. So you know it's okay, but answer to purify. Oh. Okay, just one hit. So William can go for a finish here. Oh my god, 90? I mean, uh, 60. Well, we have a guaranteed kill. I should probably take it. And we can also just move up and try to get the get the hit on the more relevant guy. It's a 50-50 that it's gonna be really great. No! Okay. William, uh, you just wait and hide. It's not the best squad, I have to say. Works in Monsters and Nilfgaard. Other series sometimes sees play. Mm. Oh damn, we're struggling. Okay, one ambusher is down. Yeah, what would be the chance to hit? Okay, that would be 90%. 40%. 50%. Can we just take the 50%? What are you doing? Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, William, can you just heal? What a tough fight! <laughs> I, I feel like it's it's a lot tougher because I'm I'm half-assing it, but it doesn't matter. Or it's not exactly have the the top team. First time around, I've actually uh, fired up the game. 
I, I came to this point with made made characters and holy shit, we were a cleaning house. But this this fight took like two seconds. <laughs> oh no, we're in trouble. But the other Dorsey killer is just completely pointless. Do you have a better shot? No, we won't be able to see. Okay, just take the shot. Ah. Alright. I'm just gonna finally got nerfed to a normal power levels. Most decks want a shorter round free. So Shiri is back. Scorch. MC, Scorch Fest. What is MC? Oh, we leveled up! May the deluge bless you all. Leveling up? Okay, cool. I can do that. Oh, let, let's high five the corpses. Uh, sure. Hard, hard ass. That, that's good. What else we got? Okay. Dudes. A mangler, rocket launcher, tame can junk. Have you tried Runeterra? And if so, what's your opinion on it? Oh, she's on her ass. Major Prasad's breath steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? No, there were no one else. Yeah, uh, yeah, that crazy woman, Private Bell. She should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did well. She yeah, was, I'll... she was like in her thirties. I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to to head for Colorado Springs, establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base, support the Patriarch, no matter what. I'm not sure I'm on board with that. I almost died here. And I have a serious uh, <laughs> qualms about the, the leadership in the Ranger Battalion. We do that. And the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. Ooh, secret orders. But it's not going to be very secret when she tells me. How secret? Only me. Got them from got them from General Woodson. But you can just make it up, right? You can just say like, oh yeah, secret orders. Make up with me when I'm dying. I wanted to, but can't get it working in China. Keep getting region errors. Seems really good. Damn. <laughs> when we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to... find them. Ah, uh, these pauses. We have to... find them. That's suspense, right? Made me realize that I just take it for granted that everything works in my region. I suppose I shouldn't. Who's Angelo Def? Understood, we'll get it done. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. When I first tried out Runeterra, I wasn't super impressed. It was okay. Kill her? No. Help her up. Oh, she's dead. Ah. Oh, well, I, well, I guess we couldn't help her. Whoa, scout armor and some pants and army rifle and... Okay, fine. Hell yeah.
I'm off to watch the finals now. I'll be back after... After if you're still streaming. Okay, cool. Have fun. It's probably not gonna be a very busy stream. Well, who knows? Major. As you get close, you can see uh, the cat has a dog tag rather than a color, which is embossed with uh, the name Tom. Ground control to Major Tomcat. It's time to leave the tree branch if you dare. Meow. What? Oh yeah, we got a cat. Let's go. Game saved. Hey, Jerry, I find the corpse. How goes that deal, use your blood? You dry goats them hotlanders yet? You rest this Jerry's dead. Oh. They killed him. Gunned him down like a dog. Who needs the cart? Let's just go and food. Oh, we don't have a choice. Alright, we're taking the cart. Alright, daughter, hop in. Whoop. Okay, sure. Just just go into the truck. I don't care. Whatever. It's not exactly what I signed up for, but I suppose we are alive. But do they seriously expect us to save Arizona by ourselves? Or even care about that? I suppose we signed up for a reason. That was more protection, not not to be like expendable soldiers. I suppose. In the Rangers you don't really have a choice. Thank you. We feel welcome. Jody, don't touch anything, you idiot. Don't lick that pole. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. I don't care about vengeance. He's your prisoner. You can't have the honors. If you insist. Why do they have the feeling that the the whole mystery of this is of course dead? Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. Maybe that 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 guy is not a no name. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. And what is that? In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. Wait, what? 
I became the boss. Fuck yeah. Under my leadership, I'll fucking make sure no one ever dies. It's the, the strategy is going to be like top notch. Also, we're going to be just sitting in this base for the most time. <laughs> most part. I mean, yeah. Thank you, Patriarch. We appreciate anything you can do for us. How does this work, though? Like, you just assign me as, as the leader. Thank you. Let's not be rude about it. I don't like this whole menu, but I suppose they just really messed up the UI, and I fucking hate this. Especially the games that, you know, they just went to console. Like, oh, let's just have a, like a total garbage UI every single time and garbage controls. I'm glad to find uh. you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. I hope so. Now, introduction. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. <laughs> now. Yes, Joe. Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. I'm so used to listening to everything at two and a half to three, three times speed that everything just feels slow-mo. And actually, it might be affecting my uh, normal walk, uh, talking speed as well. I was always kind of a uh, fast talker, like relatively. Uh, okay, Jody, no slacking on my watch. I'm the boss now. That all right with you? No, I'm here to bust nuts. I mean, that that is not the saying, right? Uh, whatever, whatever that you know gets people into. Uh, no, not that's not the one. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Jody. Chops, right? That's the one. <laughs> Maybe we gotta go with the first one because it's gonna be funny. How are your injuries? Recovering okay? This is probably not the best place to do it. Oh. Talk to you late. Are you missing Arizona? This place is garbage. Are you okay? No. Talk to you later, Jody. Okay. What? Immaculate? Holy shit. No sudden moves what a name. No sudden moves around the no sudden move no sudden moves around the patriarch. Okay. A gas heater? I mean why outside though? That seems very wasteful. Diligent Joe, holy shit. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Oh, look at that. My own base. Marshal Juan. Hey, Marshal. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. And this here is Sergei Gretzky. G great. Uh, okay. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Thanks. What were the Dorsey's after? What's up with the alarms? No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. <laughs> so? How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. How about help me with that? With that attitude, you're gonna be busted down to private. Angry robots? Why aren't there angry robots? Easy enough. We'll be right back. Why not help me? So, this is our place? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch. Okay. We can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. 
Word of warning with those servitors. They tend to go nuts if you ask them to disobey orders. What? Lockpicking is impossible. Well, I guess we're not gonna do it then. Oh, we can't go there. So, inside the door. Okay. Also, we have a level up possibility here. Only skills. And based on how this game works, I'm not I'm not sure how, how we're gonna level up. I guess we're gonna go with melee combat. We can always just put points into fighting. Okay, let's confirm that. I'm gonna decide the later points. A little bit later. Ultimately, every time we are we don't need skills. We can we can just save the skill. Well, we can just uh, save the points when we actually need the skills. But yeah, generally that's not gonna be the approach. What? I raped the alarm. <laughs> I understand why the robots sound like uh, R2-D2 in Star Wars. Oh yeah! We are the Arizona Rangers, a successor unit of the US Army Corps of Engineers. We are government representatives. I just made that up. Oh, that's nice. I know that that can be a fight. Oh no, we need pick lock. Can we... Uh... Okay, let's let's confirm that. I like the system that it's not chance based. I think uh, the baseline two was chance based, which I didn't like. This way, you just need a fixed amount, and and if you have that, it works every time. If you don't have that, it never works. That's just great. Oh, that's nice. I think technically, like, uh, you can make the argument that, oh, like, the, the, the chance of opening the door could be interesting, or uh, finding something can be interesting, but, I mean, it also encourages reloading. Requires four strength, okay. So, you probably want at least four strength on, on you guys. <sighs> Alright, what is this? Shell shock. Injury or doctor imp. Hit chance, critical chance, evasion, downtime. Can only be removed by injury kit or doctor NPC. Oh, okay. What? Well, okay then. So, yeah, we don't have a doctor. Uh, what is this? Injury kit. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Um, does this work? Use it on self? What? You think? The fuck? It worked. Okay, it worked. Let's just take this out, maybe put in our heels. This terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirls for the first time in years. As it boots up, 
Security alert! Flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identity. It replies. Command empty. Designate new command. Yes! Oh my god! Who's gonna be the, the leader of this base? Can I, can I go with custom name? That guy, one, one guy was outside and he was called Immaculate. Holy shit. I was thinking to myself, what could be my like badass ranger name? Because I'm called William, which, which I think is, is pretty okay, you know? Kind of reminds me of like, like, of like old fighters, William. But that guy was called Immaculate. What could be my ranger name? I could be like the, the biggest dick, right? Maybe, maybe that doesn't sound the right, doesn't uh, uh, send the right message. Also, I don't really want my daughter to call me that necessarily. It haven't happened yet, but I, I, I have a pretty uh, good good guess that I wouldn't like that. Uh, maybe, maybe, well, maybe I'm just uh, jumping ahead. Yeah. Install myself as command. The camera flashes above the monitor, and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Okay. I'm the boss now. Seriously? Who made this? Just someone shows up and I'm like, oh, I'm the boss now. Good to see the place up and running. Wow. <laughs> well there. Now, where were we? Oh yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, valor, and victory. <laughs> Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. Being a little cold. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. I can't help but... Maybe... Think that... Perhaps you weren't the best dad? <laughs> Lee Sing, this is never gonna happen to us. When I'm older, I, I don't want you to just rise up, uh, have the name Liberty, like some kind of stripper, and... I try to take over the wasteland. We can do it together, okay? Are you asking us to kill your kids? What? You think I want to kill my kids? You think I'm even afraid of them? Well, you, you did ask us to take care of the problem. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. I just one check. Oh yeah, so this is like they are up, way up past their way past. <laughs> they are out way past their bedtime, and I gotta take your kids back home. All right. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them, and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? We definitely have to take out the patriarch. <laughs> What if taking your kids alive is impossible? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Why is it my job, though? I, I guess I guess I'm, I'm the uh, lo local authority here. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me. Somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Sounds great. 
we need more background on your kids before we go after them. Yeah, let's let's get more info. For one thing, you must have uh, plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Good, good question. Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. And do you trust me? Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The hundred families, the gippers, the marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Okay. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. I'm not exactly sure what's your plan, you know? Okay, let's just say... I... I just get a minibus, get all your kids, they're gonna be in, ba in the back, uh, just, just, uh, with the seatbelts on, everything, we're gonna play it by the book, we're gonna be singing songs, and I just ship them to you, and, I don't know, you put them in house arrest, or, w what is the big plan here? You're still gonna die, one day. And your children will still be alive, and they're gonna be used as, as leverage, kind of puppets, to uh, take control, I suppose. So that's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works: the loyalty of self-interest. How? Why is that? What should we know about victory? Why did you name them like this? Look at this guy. One of your guards. He's called Immaculate. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. <laughs> Since he was a baby, he tortured cats, terrorized the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and daring me to come after her. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Wow. So, it just kind of sounds like the worst. I mean, I hate to point this out, but... <sighs> he probably needs to go down. I mean, what do you expect? What, what hope there is for him? I mean, usually, like... Like, you were in the perfect position to just mold him, and he became a, a psychopath. There were other survivors from our convoy? That's great news. You better not hurt those rangers. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what. Okay, so Remember? we kill this guy, we kill we kill all his children, then we kill the patriarch. I mean, we already know this. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. <laughs> Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Okay. I mean, at least he doesn't sound like the worst. He's resentful. So Valor isn't dangerous? No, but the Gippers are tough and well armed. And Denver's a death trap. Okay. Uh, about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. 
She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Okay. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's going to be well protected. So she's the big boss. Well, before the patriarch. You are expecting her to, to try to usurp you? It sounds like Liberty. Like, patriarch has more control, but Liberty has less restrictions. So, technically speaking, Liberty is, is uh, destined to take over patriarch. Sounds like she's a born leader. At least I raised one. Thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. You'd better. Anything else? <laughs> Can I get your hammer? Uh, we have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorseys and the Ambush. Uh -huh. Yep. Where are the Dorseys? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. And uh, do you think Vic Val and Liberty were behind the attack on our convoy? <laughs> Possibly. But I know the Dorseys from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. I like how their their names were shorter. Like Valor was well. <laughs> like it's it's not that long. Why do you say the ambush was your fault? I guess this is just taking responsibility for uh, le uh, leading them wrong. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not, and you paid for it. I take full responsibility. He sounds like an okay leader. Obviously, uh, wasn't a great dad, I suppose. All right. Enough about the Dorseys. Good. What else do you need? But it seems a little forced. But I suppose, you know, this is a very common uh, thing in games. That, you know, every everything is connected. Everyone is your friend. Everyone is your family. It's like, oh my god. It was you all along, mother. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thanks. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback... That call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. Okay. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. This will be a pleasure. I don't want to be like a fucking hive mind soldier. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out. Home away from home. They're just gonna walk away. They could have killed me. Oh, Bambi! Hey there. Can we just close the fucking doors? It's it's cold in here. Ugh. It's, am I am I am I feeling more cold? No, it, it's actually a little cold, but it's a little chilly. You have a new mission to view its details. Press J. Uh, okay. Wow. Primary missions progress the main story. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received the primary mission coordinate breath, so your next step should be uh, paying a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. All right. All right. That, that's good enough. Close. Save. <sighs> hey, Major Tomcat. Uh. Let's get back to the mission, Ranger. What the hell? Okay, we, we leveled up. Controller. 
I guess the bots. Okay. Rangers. Come talk to me when you've got a moment. Wanna discuss good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Sure. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Do we really need an AB radio operator guy? I can operate a radio. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Why is this guy the, called the radio operator? I mean, installing an AI kind of goes be beyond that, right? Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? <clears throat> Speak to Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers from, uh, for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. Other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal uh, Guan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help out all the same. You'll find plenty of companions on your journey throughout the Colorado. Okay, I like that. Up to... Wait. No more than four can be rangers. So maybe... Maybe we want to have a team that actually more heavily uh, relies on companions. Uh, let's ask a few questions. Can you and Na and uh, Quan uh, tell us more about yourselves? Uh, what? <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. Oh no! He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergey? That sounds about right. Seventy-five, tops. Now, let me tell you about Mister Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs or the people that live there better than Dashing Darius Quan. I like this that they are praising the, uh, each other instead of uh, praising themselves. I, I feel comfortable with that, but you know, praising myself, <laughs> tooting my own horn, as uh, as uh, Quan said it, I, I don't like that too much. You're too kind, Sergey. I like this. You two volunteer for this? Why the fuck would you volunteer for this? Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. But don't expect an easy ride here. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Okay. Well, we gotta uh, tidy up a little bit here. You both seem awful eager to help a group of unknown outsiders. Why are you really here? Oh my god, I'm getting spied on. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so here I am. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah, I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. So basically, I'm leadership material. And it seems like that is a very rare commodity. So that's why I'm here. I was like, why do you guys need me? I, I, I always like, I was always a pretty good go-getter, go you know, and I suppose I have a good hat, but still, they really need me. All right, fine. So you're a spice. <laughs> Let's say liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed, and he knows it's not going to be easy. You're strangers in a strange land. This is actually kind of nice. I like that the spies just uh, just straight up said that they are spies. <laughs> you don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. Who hates who? Where the bodies are buried. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes. Step on the wrong toes. Yeah, but 
is this is this my my I my only my true true value that I'm I'm a leader? I suppose. I, I don't value that too highly, but it seems like it's it's truly in short supply. Yeah. We're supposed to report back to the patriarch about how you're doing. Just say I'm awesome. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? Say I'm doing an awesome job. What was the deal with the alarms and the robots? Not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. I know that this Marshall won the guy. Maybe, maybe a capable, but he's definitely more of a follower. He's like, what am I gonna do? There are robots there. Like, oh my god. And the other guy's just retired. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Mm. Yeah. I need some, you know, I, I need some top threes on the, on that one, Sergey. Uh, give me a top three on that one. What could be it? It's like, oh, could be nothing. I don't like that. How long has this place uh, been abandoned? Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back. Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Oh, I see. So, we, we don't have the man. Well, I guess we kind of have the manpower a little bit to, to man this place. But most of all, we, we didn't have the manpower in the past to man, man this place. And uh, it's better that it's manned barely than, you know, than it's just like overtaken by bandits. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Really? Could be what set off the alarms. Wow. What's the deluge? Uh, we've been hearing it that word a lot. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire. Because, well, that's what it was. I mean, you just said it was the nuclear apocalypse, right? I mean, I would be totally fine to call it that, right? Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. <sighs> All right. I guess that's why I need to be the leader here, because I don't give a shit about like that stuff like that. You guys can argue about that. I don't care. What was the radio operator saying about putting uh, an AI into our vehicle? How, how's that going to work? Gonzalez, he's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Okay. Sounds good. That's it. Okay. What's next? Show us what you got. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Oh, that's gonna be a long list. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Yeah, we can make characters, and I, I, I kind of want to, but I, I want to check out Listen, Marshall Wan first. Fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your troop, now that we've got that sorted, now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but. Getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Oh, that that's great. So it's going to be more like an xcom feeling that, you know, we also have to care about the base. I, I like that. Because in the previous wasteland, I, I didn't really have an effect on the base. I was just like, it was just something. It was kind of like a city. You know, I, I came in and they told me to fuck off. I just did some you know, side quest. But now I'm building the base and it definitely feels a little forced that I was in, in this situation. Like, why did I become the guy who actually uh, has this base? We don't know. I guess leadership material. Everyone died, so that's it. Uh, serving base sounds good. Yeah, we definitely need to know that. Like, imagine just you just got a house. It was like, oh my god, a fucking house. Hell yeah. But you were told, like, you know, there might be some junkies in there. 
or like maybe some uh, thieves in there or or robbers in there or just rabbit dogs or some something something deadly and like holy shit we need to get that place checked out right now perfect that'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before i toss it all out don't toss it out we have a bunch of space after that you might want to give sheriff daisy a hand if you impress her maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base what i'm i'm not well, I, I guess I... Oh, you're, you're talking about that. I was maybe talking about, you know, replacing my dead wife. But I guess we could use uh, a helping hand in other matters. Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Thanks. Uh, uh, one sec. What's that? Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. What? So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Sounds good. Thanks, we could use the help. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Companions 1. <clears throat> Uh, you recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of a squad member, unlike the rangers you create. Companions are pre-made characters that have uh, their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and uh, they could leave you high and dry. Okay. I mean, maybe it's more interesting to have companions. You can have up to six characters in your squad. Up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Okay. So we've got one here, uh, increasing attributes. Uh, starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level up. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter, or hit harder. There's an attribute for that. Okay. So he's pretty... Uh, all... all Well, he just, he just has points in everything. And... I think it's in this game it's super tempting to make a min max character. Holy shit. Uh before before I, I decided to go for this approach, I was I was planning on making the most min max brutal characters of all time that you know they were just so 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 crazy, like you know, dealing hundred damage per turn easily or over that uh at the start of the game at long range is like But I decided no 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 that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. That just that just try harding, and I guess the highest difficulty is for that. So we have uh, Lee Singh, who has lock picking, kiss ass, uh, sniper rifles, melee combat, animal whisper, sneaky shit, and we got oh my god, kiss ass free. Ah, that's a sneaky shit. That that actually conflicts with two of our skills right away. Oh man. This is not good. But yeah, he's he's really really good with auto weapons, I guess. Now, this is an interesting question. Like, do we wanna abandon those skills? Completely? Because I suppose we only have one point in sneaky shed. And uh, one point in Gissa, so abandoning it wouldn't be the the greatest loss. And he's already like super, super committed to it. So if we take him, like he's got, he's definitely gonna be leveling these. I mean, sniper rifle does seem like a good choice. All right. So we are definitely not going for uh, sneaky shit and uh, kiss ass in the recruits. We will probably need when we look at the skills. We might need a barter, a hard ass. A leader. I mean, thing is, when it comes to leadership, I don't know. Maybe she can be okay. I don't know. It's it's tough. Also, our strength is a little low. I think going for four strength is pretty okay. All right. So let's close 
And we can make characters at any time. Okay, let's let's just say. Rangers, good to see you. And these volunteers you mentioned, where are you getting them from? Well, I've got friends in the marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. That's good. We gotta lead everybody. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure. But most will be solid recruits, ready and willing to learn. You'll have to pick and choose. All right, we need to manage. Sure thing. Let's have a look. Should I make random uh, recruits, or should I uh, new recruits? Should I just accept recruits? Mechanics, small arms, and weapon modding. Axel looks fine. It doesn't have. She doesn't have any conflicting skills. Sniper rifles, small arms. Ooh, that's interesting. And sneaky ship. So she has a lot of conflicting skills from the get-go. Survival, sniper rifles, and first aid. Brawling, survival, and hard ass. Do I need a brawler? I'm not really looking for... Now this. She has a lot of conflicting skills. Nerd stuff, sneaky shit. Again, sneaky shit. That's not what I want. Barter, small arms, and hard ass. Um, Danny smiles. I mean... Looks okay. Seems like he was already shot in the head. Auto weapons. We already have an auto weapons uh, guy. Big guns, first aid, and explosives. Dock nails. Should we take this guy and just not make a character? Big guns, first aid, and explosives. Who, who else we could take? Sniper rifles, auto weapons. Small arms, toaster repair, and weird science. Prof Higgs, the inventor. He has really low uh, health. Survival, melee combat, and mechanics. Explosive, big guns, and armor modding. I will not have anyone with big guns. Or oh, I, I do. Dog nails. And Professor Higgs. Wolf. I don't really need a kiss ass. Mechanics, nerd stuff. Should we just take Doc Nails and Professor Higgs? Seems, seems okay. So we're gonna take Professor Higgs. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types... Uh, Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resistant to others. Okay. Um, am I am I ready? So we can have dock nails in there as well. I don't know if you need a barter. Okay, let's just not make a custom character. We're gonna pick dock nails. Uh. Pfft. I was planning on making a custom character, though. Damn. Do, do these guys have any uh, backstories? We, we don't know. I, I guess it's more... More... F <laughs> Maybe more balanced if I pick him like this. Can I just... Let's go like that. Professor Higgs, Doc Nails. Can we just go with like a uh, two woman, uh, two guys team? Big guns, first aid, explosives. Can we replace that guy for a woman? Sniper rifle, sneaky shit. That's not gonna work. We can go Thunder. Explosive, big guns, and armor modding. Commander. Kiss ass, auto weapons, and barter. Shell shock. Nurse stuff, sneak. Nah, sneaky shit is not what I want. Melee combat is not what I want. I guess I want someone with big, big guns. And either we take thunder, or we take uh, uh, dock nails.
Hmm. All right. Let's let just let's just uh, go with dark nails. Do I have a preference? Does it matter? I I kind of want someone with first aid, but I suppose I can also go for first aid later. All right, let's just go with Doc Nails. I kind of like this. Doc Nails, Professor Higgs, and uh, uh, Marshall Marshall Kwan. <laughs> Please sink. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ready? Go. Anything else? Uh, I would like to know more about you. Happy to tell you what you need to know. Sure. What's your story? Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid. Damn. I was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army, consolidating power here in town, helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories, and he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. You're too kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. Goodbye. I'll be here. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can do with the characters. So, in the game, there are... As I, I believe, yeah, melee combat. There are like twenty-two skills: three, five, that's eight, eleven, eighteen. Yeah, twenty-two skills and six characters in the team. That means every character should have three to four skills, mostly four. And keep in mind that one of them will be a combat skill. So, let's see these new guys. And I didn't even check their stats. Because I guess it doesn't matter. He's very smart. Uh, but he has abysmal strength. Abysmal. We should, we should definitely up his strength because, oh my god. His strength is abysmal. Uh, awareness... Charisma. Let's up his strength. Yeah, he needs to not die. <laughs> that would be great. Skills. Uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, spend it on his strength. He is going with small arms and toaster repair and weird science. So he can deal more damage with uh, exotic weapons. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem like a super important skill to have. Um, uh, guns really benefit from uh, bonuses, I suppose. Uh, let's just accept that. So, what is he gonna go for? Oh my god! As far as I know, one point seven intelligence speed. What do we want to go for? So we don't have any luck, which is okay. We don't have a lot of uh, action points. Maybe awareness would be the best choice. It increases hit chance, perception, and range damage bonus. We can start pumping that. And I think that's a decent choice. Dark Nails. Yeah, let's just, let's just try to up our perception. Uh, there's, there's not much else to do. Okay, let's up the perception. Skill-wise, I accept it. I definitely care about big guns, but I just upping the hit chance from uh, by 3% for 2 points is just not worth it. Uh, we wanna go for first aid uh, free, that's for sure. And explosive... Maybe actually we don't want to go for free, but we definitely want to go 
to, to two at least. Uh, we're gonna accept this. Animal Whisper, sneaky shit. I don't know. Now this is a, this is a dilemma here because do we just abandon sneaky shit? Because as as long as this guy's in the team, he's gonna be upping uh, kiss ass and sneaky shit and auto weapons. So at that point we're not gonna need that. So I guess he's a good good candidate for uh, going for something else. But what that something else would be? So we have explosives in the team. We know that. And we also have so we have all this general skills, armor modding, weapon modding, toaster repair. The problem with with I suppose, I, I guess we can make custom characters. So when we get new companions, but it would suck so bad, so badly. Would we ever replace William <laughs> or or the starting uh, squad? I get, guess we might. If I really wanna double down on companions, which I will most likely want. So I suppose the the base characters don't matter. These guys don't matter. Only these guys matter. Marshall Guan. So, because they can be always uh, just changed. So, I, I probably don't have to have a huge dilemma on my hands. Well, not really change, but I can make a new new one, I guess. Which is just, which is a little fucked up, but <laughs> it, it's kind of how it goes. Uh, what kind of attributes he has? He actually has decent strength... And speed. He is just straight up a melee fighter. There is nothing else he will ever be. He can actually have just more health. Which I do like. Upping his speed is pretty good. I don't know. G giving him more action points is pretty nice too. Okay, let's just go for more strength. So he's gonna be just a straight up melee fighter. Uh, yeah, we're gonna accept that skills. If, if I wasn't streaming, I probably would just uh, uh, make a cut and uh, distribute my points. Outside. Uh, well, <laughs> just not waste time with that, but still. I think mechanics is something we're gonna need, right? Do we need... Do, do we need a special skill for that? I don't think so. I definitely don't need a sneaky shit. Uh, we're not gonna go for that. Do we go for nerd stuff? Don't I? Don't I have nerd stuff on him? Confirm. Oh, we have weird science, which is just uh, damage boosting, basically. Actually, he, he seems like a good candidate for the nerd stuff, because, I don't know, it just seems to fit. I don't want to go for more than three, four, right? So, we can go for nerd stuff too. If I click away... We click back, and now I have a bunch of points to distribute. Uh, we can just uh, distribute uh, evenly. Weird science. Or just small arms. Double down on small arms. I don't think we're going to need a, a level 3 skill right now. Okay, we have that. What else? Three more skill points. So explosives and first aid is okay. Will he have uh, a fourth skill? Or maybe we won't go for that. We can just do something like this. Now Lee Sing is the only one who is still deciding. I think going for awareness is just just really good. If you're gonna be a sniper. Skill wise. I guess we can go with, uh, well, we're not gonna go with Kiss-Ass, with, uh, Marshall Kwan in the team. 
but uh, lock picking and sniper rifles is pretty good. Now, what other skill we're gonna cover? It would be really nice to see who covers what in the team, but we can see it a little bit. Sneaky shit, we have this. Weird science, we have this. We don't have any armor modding and weapon modding. We also don't have a hard ass or a leader. Can we can we just have a leader here? She is not the worst leader. She has five charisma. Leadership range of ten, but she won't go for more than that. Experience bonus of ten. Mission reward bonus. Ten meters leadership range. That's that's not bad. I guess you don't have to max charisma, but still. How good is leadership? Uh, that's not not critical by any means. Field stripping scrap. Oh, this is just installing armor mods. Oh no, this is oh okay, this is a perk. Allows you to modify your weapons and strip them down for scraps. Okay, well, we need weapon modding, right? Just to uh, strip weapons. And what else we need? Maybe we're gonna go for the uh, lockpick. Something like that. Oh yeah, we have two more points. Wait. Okay, okay, he's a decent mechanic. Let's just go for melee combat, fuck. Oh my god, game! Are we ready to go? Alright, William is the leader. Even though I don't like melee. <laughs> but hey. Um... Oh, we can go this way. Alright. Oh, we already need lockpick free. Oh my god. This terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All, all, all seems normal right now. Examine most recent activity logs. Most of the logs appear to have been destroyed in a giant server wipe that occurred decades ago. The terminal also has uh, controls uh, for some nearby vehicle lifts, but currently indicates they are all unresponsive. Recall service elevator platform. Something's happening. Mechanical failure reported. A servitor drone has been issued a repair order. Well, that's great. Lockpick 2. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Hey, Bellwolf. Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI. The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here a while. Oh, we can try to determine how she died. Uh, was it the robot? The body's unnatural position suggests some kind of seizure, and there are Signs of uh, discoloration on her face indicative of uh, heart failure. Really? A heavy metal spanner is uh, gripped tightly in her hand, right hand. The metal is uh, discolored and uh, scorch marks uh, blacken her fingertips. It looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Let's examine the corpse. The woman is wearing a, a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tube belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, 
bits of circuit boards. It looks like uh, this Facelander uh, made her living by scavenging and repairing uh, electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. Really? And she got electrocuted? I don't know. If you spend your life uh, getting tech, you know, you're just a junker, right? But like, wouldn't you try to wear some kind of protective gear? Alright. What's up, robot? This enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. And judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged uh, it into the garage from somewhere else. Why, though? No! Examine the robot! You recognize it as a slicer dicer. A pre-apocalypse uh, military robot, it appears to have been uh, badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. Upon closer inspection, you note that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of the legs uh, show signs of recent welding. The slicer dice's main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. Well, I can't do it right now. Uh, maybe we can repair the slice of dicer uh, a little bit later. Because apparently it cannot be done right now. I messed up a little bit. That's why I kind of like to save skill points. But at the same time, I I, I feel like it's kind of against the spirit of level ups. But just, just in case. This desiccated husk of a man is a little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. It looks like the case of starvation and dehydration, but the corpse's ankles and wrists show some scarring, as if he was chained up for a while. This is the thing that I find back at home? No wonder the <clears throat> it was a cheap place, no one was here. What's the story behind these guys? Can I just level up? If, if you could level up, I mean, it doesn't seem like we are terribly far away from leveling up. Oh, we can high-five this corpse. Oh, injury kit. Oh, this guy. Pile of corpses, I see that. These people died in a variety of ways. Most of them, most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, crushed skull on another, cut throat on a third. Oh. They all have the same scarring on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses. Most likely from... Uh, Manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. <laughs> Alright. What? Looks like the exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring indicates that uh, this uh, may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open woods across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. You also notice that the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Okay, fine. So, this place was used most likely as some kind of a uh, slaver base. Trap detected. Alright, we definitely need to... If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot. Get rid of that. Did it work? I guess it did. Another trip wire. This terminal is displaying information about the base of systems. All seems normal right now. Check activity. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. This terminal is displaying information about... Okay, fine. Step away. What? Take all the stuff! Oh no! We can't go there! Oh no. 
We have to come back. Can I, um... Uh, change my hotkeys? Maybe control... Do, 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 do. What do we want here? I want map. Map is M. I want... Mouse 4. No! It cannot be bound to a mouse! Ah, son of a... Well, I guess we're not doing that. I really want to bind it to the mouse... to a mouse button. Damn. I don't really want to bind it to tab. What if I bind it to caps lock? I won't be typing, right? So caps lock is fine. Even though it's a little... Uh. Actually, I have a better one. We're gonna... We can rebind tab. Can we rebind tab? Um, alt? Okay. We're gonna make this alt. We're gonna make this tab. I'm more used to tab as, as, a uh, as map. Alright, this, this is fine. This is the theme. What? Yo! Are the slavers in the basement and I just can't do anything about it? That's not cool. Also, we have a bunch of guns. Well, let's see what we have. Explosives? Who can use this? Um, He's the explosive guy, right? Okay. No. Is there carry weight? Okay, that looks good. Um, I guess having pants beats not having pants. Uh, this guy just needs to be tanky. Because he will be in the front line, on the front line, uh, kicking his ass. <clears throat> now, I don't have a lot of armor. And these guys didn't come with any armor. <clears throat> That's not good. None of them have any armor. Merc armor. Okay, fine. She's the sniper. I don't think anyone else will be really rushing in close. I suppose we're gonna be playing it like this. There's low health. They both have low health. But it's far more likely that he will be uh, closer to the front line. I guess we have a uh, repair kit. Matt hypo. Oh yeah, with the, the first aid. Oh, this guy's is packing. He's the explosive expert plus the medic. Alright. And, and the heavy gunner. Sure. Yeah, that's good enough. If it's not good enough, then I guess we gotta make a change. <sighs> so what? We're just gonna head out? Wow. Oh my god! Don't die! I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? No! Get the fuck back inside! How are your injuries? Recovering okay? Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Get the fuck inside! This is not okay! 
Look at this. Look at this gas lamp. The snow is not even melted near it. That's not gonna be good enough. You're sitting on the ground. You're gonna die from hypothermia. You don't even have a fucking helmet on. Look at your breath. Are you missing Arizona? Oh, She's gonna be man. dead. More every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. You don't really have it that good, Jody. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. The Patriarch doesn't have the supplies. I'm fucking calling it. Sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to him. Alright. Later. Oh my god. I mean, even if, even if it wasn't cold, I would be still strongly against it. Dog! Roof, roof! Come, come over here! Oh, stop. Cyborg's chicken? What the fuck is going on here? Buried items? Is it, is it like a special skill? Digging? Oh, okay. We all have shovels. Sure. Do we need to uh, care about carry weight? I really hope not. Because that's total bullshit. That, that's always lame. That's one of my most used cheats. No! Animal Whisperer free! Fuck. But I guess we're gonna be coming back. Metal plate electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you. A sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Cluck. Would you come with me? Is this... Is this a... Uh... What? Can we just go and try to talk to the chicken? Okay. So we need... Uh, higher skills. Unfortunately. I made mistakes by distributing uh, points. This snowdrift is just the right balance of density and wetness to pack snowballs. Uh, pee on the snow pile? I just walk away. Maybe uh, someone else will enjoy that. I'm not gonna pee on it. Okay, so... Container. Can we animal whisper the rabbit? Rabbit! Rabbit is gone. Okay, so this is the whole map. Uh, this is blocked. I prefer making uh, some uh, marks on the map and notes, but I guess that's not gonna happen. We cannot take the truck, but I guess we're gonna automatically take it uh, when we attempt to leave the area. Oh, armor crate? Alright, let's check that out. Oh! Requires four strength. Should we just... Used to restore 35% con per turn over three turns. So it's a max heal. Amount of amount healed increases with first aid skill level. Oh, what? No, it's 35% con per turn for three turns. So it's it's a max heal. I suppose this is relevant in combat. 
in combat you might want uh, a bigger impact. It doesn't really matter. I just save. Downtown called out of the springs? Is this where I'm supposed to be heading? I guess I can check my quest log. Okay, so we have a mission in downtown Colorado Springs. And this is just a general quest of recruiting people. Oh my god! Oh, look at this! Oh, we got some furry fest over here. You guys didn't have to put up a show, but I appreciate it. Okay. Also, we have some armors. What? Uh, I'll just give him the pants because this is a strength requir requirement. Uh, sure. Let's make sure everyone has armor. Who else is gonna be in close range? Maybe this guy a little bit. No, it's gonna be him because he has a pistol. Okay, we got pants too. Let's give him pants. So he has 12 armor, but keep in mind that uh, penetration goes through that, and probably most enemies will have some penetration. Why have gas heaters outside? I mean, sure, but... Like, Outside? That makes no sense. Please! My son's not a Darcy! Let him go! Darcy's gonna my die for what done they done done. Nothing wrong. Wrong. Oh. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Uh, do I? Yeah, I guess. What do you ask? Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Who's your son? What happened? Why was your son sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. Well, this is the time to come clean. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Who's your son? Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the east. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, my other son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him, too! 
Wow. <laughs> Goodbye. Please help my son. I kind of I felt obligated to give her a pep talk after that, but like, just just goodbye. All right. Marshal Enforcer. Oh, wait. I it, It's really hard to tell. Who... Okay. Anyone who has, like, name that repeats. Dorsey Prisoner. Austin Peace. This kid's going in the pillories neck. All right, kid. The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is uh, tousled and greasy. His face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillar pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. You're very chill for a person that's just about to get uh, stripped down and killed. How did you get in trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. Oh, yeah? <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. Mm. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Oh, I, I know how to save you. Talk me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Why did you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorseys gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. You broke the law. You got caught. This seems like justice. Doesn't sound like the punishment fits the crime. I thought it was too harsh. But what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. You good kid. What's your... Ah, oh, he's dead. Let's see if we can free you. What's that worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it at work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work if you'll have me. Do you have any useful useful I'm skills? Used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Got any daring escape plans? No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. It's gonna be a stupid death. Magistrate tells me it's dead. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. Yeah. I, I don't like it. People are valuable. I wonder if it'll hurt. It'll fucking hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Goodbye. Nice talking to you. Why are you shouting? Bastards! Shut the fuck up! Dorsey scum! Shut the fuck up, guys! Dorsey scum! Oh my god. I hope you die of course the slow. fucking mob loves this shit. I hope you die slow. Pillory Square. Marshall Station. Alright. Hopefully it's not just a check. This dour man looks at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. 
His sunless skin uh, pulls tight over his face, and his uh, thin lips pressed together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? <laughs> Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. This is not good. Because if he... Just hear me out here. If he sentenced everyone to death who uh, loses a fight against us, then they will always, always fight to the death. That's it. Because if they get captured, they then they get killed. But if you have the reputation of like, you know, you get captured and uh, then we convert you with, and you have to do some hard work, or like whatever, not that, then, then there is uh, an escape and they're going to be joining us, right? And we're going to be building a society. Austin play Peace uh, says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free him? I was about to... Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't really use my... My fancy persuasion here. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case. And I might show lenience. Oh, I fucking argue with the case. No! What if the rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship over the boy? That's good. He's not a bad kid. That's He doesn't give a shit about that. He's too young. No, no, no. That, that's it. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Do we have $200? Here we go. $123? Okay, apparently we, we owed him $200, but only paid $123. This is irregular, but it is... Alright. We are back. And uh, apparently this is going to be uh, identical for the stream, but it's going to be a little bit lower quality recording. So hopefully it doesn't affect things too much. Bastards! So we got the boy. Austin Peace. Murderers! We got you, mate. Uh, we talked to the magistrate. He says he'll release you, but you'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and, and I get to be a ranger? Hell yeah. Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. That's great. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. This is, this is easy. Uh... Emily? You rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. What happened here? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. How can you be dead? Hallie? Uh, by the way, uh, it it really shouldn't lag now. So, at least on my end, it it seems like it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to hear Mom? if uh, you guys are experiencing uh, any issues. Mom? What? Sorry, never mind. I'm not your mom. Just a minute. Can we talk to you? What? Why? What do you want? Uh, do you need help? 
No, please, I just need you to go away. Please. Uh, you were expecting your mother? Uh, where is she? I, I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. Uh, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> there, there was this smiling lady. She said she had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. <laughs> she put me in a cage. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage. Two, two. I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. You got lucky. Uh, bye. I suppose it's understandable that she's not extremely trusting right now. Pfft, tent. These guys are having a bad time. Pile of corpses. All right. Paper boy. Oh my god! Extra, extra, cowardly attack on new in town? Did you hear about what happened? No. Uh, we hear there's been trouble. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. They started shooting up the place and killed a lot of people. Then they made a run at the Patriarch's Palace. Oh, but they couldn't get inside. Took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up in the Garden of the Gods. Well, some of them, anyway. Others jumped in their trucks and ran for it. Uh, what do you know about the Dorseys? Just what I've been told. Back before I was born, they were the family that betrayed the Patriarch and tried to take charge of Colorado. Thing is, everybody thought they'd been dead for years. I mean, there's tons of stories about how the Patriarch wiped them all out. Yeah. <laughs> now, where can I find the Sheriff Daisy? Oh, Marshall Station, right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. You report the news around here? Yep. I work for the Colorado Patriot, only newspaper left in America. We tell people what's happening in the city and what they should think about it. Oh, that's perfect. Fuck yeah. I right, see you around. Be careful. Might still be Dorsey's That's why I, I can't trust newspapers. What the fuck is going on here? Why, why? Why am I running around alone? Retain group on selection. Can we just group up? Just in case we run into a fight, we're gonna be fine. Okay. What is this? It's a machine shop. Alright, might as well go in there. You got business with uh, McTavish? I guess we don't have business with McTavish. I suppose there is... Can we go here? Maybe we can go in. Can we go in? We can go in. Oh my god. Uh, this definitely plays a bit more like an RPG. Uh okay. Lucia Vesson. Ah, oh, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you were never going to help. What? Hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Does it look like we are here to stand in line? Ruffians? I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys, and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. 
and when. The marshals seem a bit overwhelmed at the moment. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Is there anyone here who thinks, uh, who you think should get less consideration than you? I, I. That's an excellent question. I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Who are you anyway? My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys and... and I fear for their lives. Can you tell us more about the Hundred Families? We are the founding families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the Patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Well, that's nice, I guess. I don't really care. What exactly is going on here? Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. That's great. You know, if you look at it, everyone else also have a long lineage. So, you're not really special. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them. But her marshals keep putting me off. Ooh, I, I think we can make a deal here. Who are the Dorseys? Oh, we know that. We are the Arizona Rangers. We could help you. Well, you look capable enough. But I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. Son of a bitch. She has something with Adam. Oh, yeah, I did fix it. No. Thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Oh my god. Frustrating though that may be. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, do you want to do something or just stay here and do nothing? Sheriff Daisy, I will not Please put in a word to the Okay, sheriff. apparently she's not ready. If she'd only lend me a marshal or two, I'd rescue my family myself. Okay, we got... Can we talk to the drunk person here? M must be drunker than I thought. Did someone yell something? What if you start... Stealing? Is that okay? Okay... Apparently, they don't care. What? Okay, they care a little bit. No! We need more lockpicking! I already need lockpicking for a table. Alright. So, they're not going in there. Build some more watchtowers around the garden. Uh, we can probably talk to Taurus. Yeah, but... Miss West. Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. I probably want to take the companions because uh, they have uh, unique lines. Uh, the default companions don't have any lines. Uh, what are you working on? Reports. Lots of reports. Reports are fucking useless! People are abdu abducted right now! The fucking the God Palace or whatever is overtaken by Dorseys. And and you have reports the to work on? really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. Any advice on how to handle Sheriff Daisy? <laughs> Don't blink. Now, can you tell us about the marshals? It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. 
Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Great. Goodbye. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Senor Marshal. It is a little annoying. I have a preference for uh, distinguishing uh, non interactable NPCs. Uh, from uh, NPCs that can be actually interacted with. Coffee makers. We got teeth here? Wow. This is the police station. And they they got a, a thief one meter away from the police station looting a dead body. And they are working on reports. Holy shit. All right. Well, now you must be the rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. What? You have some flaming weapon? I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. And the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. That doesn't sound nice. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? We'll see about that. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, Lucia Vesson wants to talk uh, about rescuing her family from the Dorseys. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me too. It seems like a lot of guys, a lot of policemen are in this police station doing nothing. Tell you what though, her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. Really? In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Okay. What? Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. I kind of like her voice acting. It's not, nothing special, but it's it's serviceable. And I definitely heard voice acting in this game already. <laughs> Oh, man. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys. And I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Also, we established some backstory for her. Some, some, all right. What can you tell us about the Dorseys? We're, we're, okay. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. Yeah, you shouldn't listen to your father. That's very narrow-minded. And generalization is just stupid crap. You need to think for yourself, Lucia. They rebelled against the patriarch before I was born and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. Exactly. Just staring facts in the face, Lucia. What is the Garden of the Gods? Sheriff Daisy didn't say. Oh, okay. It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. 
They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. Okay, that's pretty good. So we probably shouldn't destroy the place. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Is that a cat with a sombrero? Yeah. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? This cat or that cat? Before we go anywhere, let's talk about your combat experience. Certainly. <clears throat> My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. Maybe she's a sniper. But have you ever killed anyone? Oh, that's a good question. I... No. But I have hunted. I actually take it as a, as a plus. Although it certainly can be a problem. But, you know, I don't want some, some rage killer uh, necessarily in my team. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. I mean, you, you did mention like 20 times already that you're all about family. Oh no. We don't care how well you shoot. We're not taking a kid into combat. Is she a kid? I don't think she's a kid. Also, like, like she wants to save her family. I mean, probably a young woman. Are you sure you don't want to leave this to the professionals? No, I, I'm, I'm not going to disrespect her choice. All right, let's go. At last. All right, let's go. <coughs> so she joined me. Uh, Lucia Vesson. She's level 4, actually. Higher level than what, what I already got. She's intelligent and aware. And, uh... Small arms, weapon modding, barter, and survival. This is actually pretty good. Because I don't have anyone else doing uh, barter or survival. So, I've actually locked out. And, this is not good. Because, Elite Sing uh, conflicts... With her in weapon modding. But it's not the worst. Oh, what? Okay, I, I suppose we're heading out. Hey, Rangers! How'd you like that welcome party at the lake? It's great. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose. Garden of the Gods and Broadmoor Heights. So this is a pretty big city. And I like this. I like when the games uh, start with talking. I know. <laughs> Not what everybody likes, but still. The young guard's face is nervous, but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hand up. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. What kind of the authorization we need? An invitation from the head of a family, or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Wow. So you guys have like six guards? Uh, to guard a super elite gate? Can, can we just like have like... Can you guys just close the door? I mean, it seems like they the we have some big ass door over there closed, but do we really want to spend six grown adults, uh, uh, working hours just standing around in the cold doing nothing? I don't think so. Why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. What's through the gate? Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, then. Good day. Don't turn it, Martha. Why else would I even keep a shotgun Wait, around what? if and I don't use it? Do you know who? Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. On the old map. Come, sarn it. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! The old man is shouting into the nearby shop and waving a shotgun around. Well, hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. 
You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Are these companions too? Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. I like the voice acting. Uh, doesn't seem like the voice acting is top tier, but at, at least it's there. And they didn't, as far as I can tell, it tends to be... It, it's not, not, not terribly bad. <laughs> at times. I, th th these guys are, are fine too. So, yeah. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Uh, some some earlier characters sounded a little bored uh, when they were voice acting. So, but other than that, I didn't really hear you know over overacting. So it, it, it's it's not too bad. It's it's pretty okay. It's serviceable easily. And what's going on here? Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out. In my you already shop. told me that. My shop. Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after him. Why don't you ask the marshals for help? They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Look, why don't you let us professionals handle this? Maybe if you help him out, he's going to give us uh, something extra or a discount at least. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Let's go. myself can't you pretend to have some faith in me martha especially in front of these soldier types you do this you'll get a nice discount at the shop assuming i still have a shop by the time it's all over all right then so let's see who we are dealing with here there's only one doorsy guy we thought you was all dead. Back off! You can only shoot once, I, I think. I done told you! Don't come any closer! You morons are holed up in a clothing store. Put, put on some new duds and just walk, walk out of town. Ooh, that's that's good. Ah, uh, nah, you're right. We're gone. Huh? Nice get up. Can we kill them like this? <gasps> Fuck! I want to kill them. No! Why, why did we leave them? Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. <laughs> We'll clean up the old store and it was make fun, it though. good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, a little token of our appreciation. 58 bucks. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Did we get XP for this? Yeah, we are close to leveling up. Wait. Did Marshall Quan level up? No, he's... We started at level four. Okay. All right, fine. Let's see what we have. Ammo box. Oh, lockpick five. Does he not care that I'm just looting in his shop? Like, oh yeah, just take whatever you want. Am I safe? Sure. Why not? Well, okay then. You don't care. Oh, wait. What about this woman? Oh, she. Oh, no, she's not gone. They're inside and. I can't tell you how relieved I am that the Dorseys are gone. And my Come husband on back is still after alive. I open up my shop. Yeah. I was smart. The last thing you want is just send your husband to da die. No? Cat? What? Well, I guess we can't catch a cat. Damage market stall. Oh, there are some bandits over here? Some thieves? Yeah.
Thief leader. We cannot change the formation. Let's come over here. Life goes to cheap. No. can actually attack once. Dark Nails. Sixty-three. So that would be a kill. He can't go anywhere. Marshall One is the only one that we can move up. Or take double shot over here. Although, can't really do that. It's four action points. Let's move up over here. Uh, let's not shoot just yet. Professor Higgs. Let's move up a little bit. It's a decent shot. Okay, we don't have enough cover. That's why I should probably use sniper rifles. Okay, we can hide there and maybe hunker down. Well, least thing won't do anything. I can move by one. Doesn't really increases his chance of killing the guy. Okay, I guess we're gonna move up. Uh, we can ambush. Do I have a hotkey for that? I can also take a regular shot. Defend. Defend. Oh, look at that. What? Oh, fuck. Go get him, cat. I guess William is a little tempted to run in and go for a kill. Or we can do a thundering strike. Well, it's 5 AP. Uh, maybe that should be a finisher, because if he attacks... Uh, he can get shot there. That's a decent finish. Free AP. Okay, fine. I should probably use inexpensive shots. So, Marshall Quan maybe goes for a hit. Special attack. And that's it. A lot of dead guys. Oh, look at that. 
Skeet Hunter, Pump Shotgun, two small arms, and another armor. Should we use that? So this is a free action point, Pump Shotgun, with ammo capacity of two. Reload, we have no information about. Uh, she should definitely have an armor. Uh, we can give it to him, right? Because he uses this uh, laser pistol, but also he can use the shotgun. Okay, let's just select the entire team and start snooping around. Dumpster. Market Square. Uh, yeah, Garden of the Gods. What the fuck is this? A Flammenwerfer? Three big guns? Oh my god. A flamethrower in the garbage. Doesn't look like garbage. Okay, I'll just take it all. I guess we might as well use the flamethrower with uh, the guy who can use it. Oh crap. He already has a mangler. Oh, whatever. Let's just put it in. Uh, we also have to keep in mind the ammo. So this uses 762. Uh, 